and hello. Let's discuss another port type inside of HFSS, the Floquet port. And the output results of any simulation model, electromagnetic, mechanical, or fluid, depends on the input setup and the analysis method of the simulation. And so HFSS is an arbitrary, full-wave, 3D, finite element-based electromagnetic simulation tool. Arbitrary because the type of simulation is not limited to a specific functionality or geometry size. And with that said, we can't model the entire world, so we need to know the extents of the model and something about the input signal. And that's where the port type comes in. Ports define where the signals go into and out of the simulation space. And the Floquet port in HFSS is used exclusively with planar periodic structures, large arrays which can be idealized as infinitely large. And the analysis of the infinite structure begins by analyzing a unit cell. Coupled boundaries form the sidewalls of the unit cell with at least an one open condition, representing boundary to infinite spaces required. The Floquet port, like the wave court, has modes. Floquet modes to represent the fields on the port boundaries. Fundamentally, Floquet modes are plane waves with propagation directions set by the frequency, the phasing, and the geometry of that periodic structure. And like the wave port, the flow K port provides the propagation constant and the S matrix data. And in order to understand an antenna array behavior, it's necessary to understand the antenna's behavior of an infinite array. And that's where the flow K theory comes into play. Flow K theory is an area of mathematics that deals with differential equations with periodic coefficients. And when applied to a large electromagnetic periodic structure, such as an array of elements, antenna element, the FSS, the feed array, plus the radome, the Floquet theory can be applied, which allows the structure to be idealized as infinitely large and analyzed using a unit cell. And the typical array design workflow using Floquet port method is design the element, then the study of the element in an infinite array. Use the infinite array as a baseline to determine the number of ray elements necessary. The inter-element spacing, the radome height spacing between the elements. And then a study of the element as a finite array using the finite array wizard. Optimize and tune, single element analysis, active input versus scan, extract the embedded element pattern, simulations, you know, are fast. They're simple and they're fast. And the port setup is very important as they define the excitation of the signal that induces the field response inside your model geometry. So in this video series, we're going to review the uh, Floquet port types being used as an infinite array. And so in the next video, let's go and show you a step-by-step -step setup of the Floquet port for a model geometry. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see more videos like these on ANSYS, HFSS topics or any HFSS simulation tools, don't forget to view our courses on ansys.com forward slash courses.